Hi everyone, this is Alex Tardy, National Weather Service. We are experiencing Santa Ana winds and it's going to continue to be dry and warmer through the holiday weekend. However, rain is quite possible later next week. Let's get into it and take a look. Santa Ana winds continue, but they are weakening already. However, that offshore flow will continue through the weekend especially across the Inland Empire and parts of the Santa Ana Mountains. Very low humidity today. That'll linger through the weekend. This has really dried out some of our vegetation, so we need to be careful as fire weather conditions are elevated. Uh, it'll warm through Sunday, but it'll be cold at night in the mountains and high deserts due to the dry air. Much cooler in chances of rain next week. It looks like maybe starting on Wednesday, or at least late Wednesday, with the best shot on Thursday of next week. Let's take a look at the winds today. The wind corridor areas had the strongest gusts. Uh, believe it or not, even some wind gusts over 60 miles per hour. Most of them in the Cajon Pass, I-210, I-15, were between 45 and 50 miles per hour as shown here. You can plot maps like this too on our webpage weather.gov. The humidity I mentioned being low, these are really low values. Uh, anytime you get below 10%, that's really dry. You feel it on your skin, but our vegetation feels it too. So we're gonna stick with some of this very low humidity through the weekend. In fact, on Friday, uh, humidity just as low, if not slightly lower in some locations, just away from our beaches. Now the uh, winds do return on Sunday. They don't look to be nearly as strong, but our wind prone areas, including San Diego County, uh, local gusts over 30 miles per hour. So keep that in mind. Uh, the Santa Ana wind does not let up over the weekend and we still see winds over the weekend, uh, especially on Sunday. Now the rain I promised you and talked about late next week, there's quite a bit of uncertainty with the storm and I'll explain why. Uh, this is some of the initial rainfall totals expected. Be widespread significant rain across California. This is a zoomed up version over Southwest California for the San Diego, Riverside, Anaheim area. Take a look at your location, generally a half inch, uh, but areas in our favored mountain areas could receive one to two inches if this storm does take a path across Central California. Now, uh, this is what's causing the Santa Ana winds, high to low pressure, offshore flow, uh, this main system of cold air over the Great Basin will weaken through the weekend, but still remain offshore flow. Now, when we get into next week, a large Pacific storm, slow moving, is digging. So it's digging, and that's what's causing it to be slower uh, as energy dives down the back side of it. Uh, so it approaches and reaches the central coast by Wednesday. That could be our first shot of some rain. Now on Thursday, it looks like the better shot of uh, the storm does close off and slow down as energy rounds the bottom of it as shown here. But that still takes the main storm system through central California. So we still get a glancing blow of a weakening storm system along that white line, which is the jet stream, uh, with the best shot looking like on Thursday. The outlook for next week is reflected here. With above average precipitation, our first real winter storm, uh, and that paints the picture over central Southern California, not only with above average precipitation, but below normal temperatures. Look at the really warm conditions for the upper Midwest and Great Lakes area for this same time period, November 15th through 19th. 